let me show you how to have the very best start at Elite Dangerous Odyssey. When you first start out in the game, Q is going to be a thing as your default control. That's going to open up your HUD. Now you're going to be spawning on a planet. Let me show you where you're going to be. And I definitely like the new HUD. The new HUD is awesome. So when you first start out, you're going to be on this planet. So immediately just book a flight. And I'm going to show you how to book a flight in a little bit over to Hopkins City. All right. Now your main objective is to get the Maverick suit. I already have it on this guy. But in order to do that, you're going to want to come over to any one of these panels. And I'm going to show you how to do these missions. I'm going to show you the missions you're going to want to do in the beginning that you're not going to just constantly die to because you are going to die a lot if you try combat in the beginning. So come over to transportation. These are going to be about a 100% guarantee you're not going to be able to fail these unless you decide to uh, steal things at the, the base. In most cases, you're going to want to choose missions that give you materials. In the very beginning, the main goal is to get your Maverick suit, and that costs 150000 so you are going to need to complete at least two of these missions right here. All right. And I'm just going to grab one of them and we're going to run through how to do it. And hopefully it's not too far away. Now, another thing you're going to notice is uh, this little bar right here is the faction that you have with these guys. And they don't seem to care. Like I have collected, literally, I have abandoned and failed and turned in uh, hundreds of these missions. Just canceled them out and my faction isn't getting affected that much. So it's not such a big deal if you grab a big list of these and then go try to find the closest one because I'm going to tell you right now none of these missions give you an actual distance location of how far they are from uh, where you are to, to where the mission is so yeah kind of a pain in the butt that's why I like to grab like five or six of them and just go to the closest uh, one or two alright we're gonna head over here this is where you're gonna be booking all your flights and your taxi services at all the stations and you're going to be booking local. Right now we can only do local. Later we'll be able to do long range. Alright, so lucky for us that mission is not that far away. That's actually pretty good. So just going to click on your planet there. Select your location and just book your shuttle. It's really that simple. Now your shuttle doesn't appear right away. Alright, so you have to wait just a little bit. And the signs to the actual shuttles where you're going to want to go will say Apex Interstellar right there. Now my shuttle is ready to go. If you don't get that little message in the bottom right hand corner, you're not even going to be able to interact with the store, so you'll have to wait just a little bit. Kind of confused me in the beginning. I didn't know where to go, and it was just because my shuttle wasn't ready yet. Now, although this is a shuttle, it's not technically your ship. You can store a whole bunch of stuff on here, so it basically is your ship, so don't worry about it. You can store things in the hole. I'm going to cut out the engaging space flight, which you'll be experiencing quite often. I'll see you there. All right, here we are. We just landed at the military base. And this is going to be a 100% safe mission. You do not have to worry about dying. So do not worry about that. Unless you decide to be space Robin Hood and steal from these guys, you can walk around anywhere. All right? So the very first order of business that we're going to have to worry about is just finding a terminal. And you're going to see that on your radar once we get close to one. So don't worry about anybody seeing you and getting you. You're totally cool. Now, let's say your, your suit actually starts to run out of power. Now, I might accidentally select the wrong thing because I have the Maverick suit. There we go. Now, you can go to transfer power mode. This will actually charge your suit if you need it. And you can also transfer power to, say, something later on. I'll show you the terminals uh, when they don't have power. But for now, this system does have power here, so you're going to be totally cool. Now, you'll see these ammo crates and things appearing everywhere. There's a terminal on my radar. Uh, it's probably in that power room. I won't be able to get to it. But you're going to see these weapon crates and things laying all over the place. You can actually um, you can actually loot those. And don't worry about uh, people coming to get you. It's, it's totally cool. That right there, if you do try to take it, you're going to get in trouble. So make sure you don't pick up anything that says illegal unless you want to be Space Robin Hood. All right? And if you are Space Robin Hood, if anyone sees you and scans you, you're going to get attacked. And at that point, you're in trouble and you're likely 100% dead, So, especially in the beginning. Alright, so there will be always a terminal in these dorm rooms. And generally, I just like to run to them. Just makes it easier. So now, 
it's giving you a hint on where you need to look inside the facility right here to find what you're looking for in your mission but I like to just come down to the buildings exterior and go to surroundings and then just look for container 11 so just scroll down the list until you find the container that you're supposed to be looking for and then just tag it just like that now you can leave and the only thing that I don't like is the see where it's showing me where the icon is but like if I'm not facing it I won't really know it doesn't appear on my radar or give me any hint like a little arrow telling me to look that way so once you have it tagged just kind of spin around until you see where it is but yeah if you are going to be space Robin Hood I highly recommend that you scout out these areas like there's two guys here right now uh, you want to make sure that nobody is around once you start trying to steal and I'll show you that later uh, but for now we're trying to get uh, we're trying to get your suit all right so yeah we just have to get into that door over there and I love just running around these places, man. It's so much fun. Alright, and all you have to do is just interact with it. Just push E and use your directional pad to just kind of move the numbers around until you put that exact code in up there. So bada boom, bada bing. There you go. Mission complete. Every single one of these missions on these uh, pickup missions like I'm showing you for transportation, uh, they're always in a threat zero, uh, and they'll always you'll always have access to them. They'll always be around or in these buildings that are uh, zero security, so you don't have to worry about getting caught in there. All right, now what I like to do after I have already completed the mission is to save just a little tiny bit of time. Just go ahead and summon your your shuttle already. All right. And just have it take you right back to the place where you got your mission. That's all you gotta do. Bam. Alright, and then just go meet your shuttle there. Now this is exceptionally handy as well if you're going to do the Space Robin Hood and liberate a whole bunch of stuff so you can trade it with the bartender later on and I'll show you that, don't worry. You already want that shuttle to be coming. Alright, because the big thing is, is if you start stealing and then you get caught, you can't call your shuttle. You have to at least get like 400 and some meters from these bases and see that that gun right there that's looking around um if it looks at you you're dead <laughs> instant dead but yeah i can say that i'm 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 enjoying overall overall for an alpha i'm very much enjoying the experience the big thing is is you just you just don't want to jump into combat right away because you are going to get completely and totally owned in the face I'll see you on the space station. We're going to drop off that mission and assume that you did two of those so you can get your Maverick suit. I don't know, man. It's just moments like these right here. The music hits me. The space hits me. I love it. I wish I had these daggone orbital lines turned off right now. But I guess it's good I have those moments because sometimes these pilot rides here and the taxi take forever. I'm just glad it's not too far away. Once you completed your mission, you just come over to the mission board terminals. There's like groups of them everywhere. Then just head over to completed missions. And if you have the opportunity, select a material. All right? Always material. I'm telling you. Except for in the beginning. Trying to get enough to make your suit. So you need at least 150,000. All right. So once you have enough money for your suit, you have enough at least 150,000. You come over to this vendor over here. No matter what on any space station, doesn't matter where you're at. Then just browse their stock, all right? And you can come over. They only have one suit available right now, and it's the Maverick suit. So purchase that for 150000 and that's what you're going to look like, except you're not going to look as studly as me. Uh, you know, I'm sorry about that, but that's, that's how it goes. Once you purchase your suit, now you can purchase a lot of consumables. We're not going to cover that right now. Um, I'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, right now you just got your Maverick suit, so come over to your terminal. All right, and you have to create a loadout. This is a lot of things people were having problems with yesterday, and we answered that question probably at least 150 times in our Discord. So come over to your loadout. And you're just going to create one, all right? And I already have one created over here. It's just I didn't even change the name. All right, and you can actually uh, purchase weapons and put them in your loadouts. All right, now the big thing about the Maverick suit is you can't have two large weapons. You can only have a large weapon and a pistol. Uh, my highest recommendation is to go with the laser pistol and then go with a the AR-50 Kinetic. All right, 
for later when you're going to do combat because you need to take people's shields down and then they need to die right away so you need the big gun. So one of the other confusing things that people didn't realize is just because you created your loadout you're still wearing your flight suit so you're going to have to actually book a flight on the shuttle which is actually kind of like a placeholder for your ship right now. That's where you're going to change your into your loadout. All right, so you just book a, a flight anywhere and I'm going to show you that right now. So now that you have the Maverick suit, the very next thing you're going to do, the next set of missions, you're going to come over here. And we're going to be looking for the support. All right. Now the flight suit can only carry two of these power thingies they're going to give you, but the Maverick suit can carry eight. So you can stack up to eight missions. Now you're going to be looking for reactivation. Now there was a bug that I didn't make a video on uh, that was discovered in our Discord within just like not very long of the game going live. Um, they've already patched it, so if you abandon these missions, you're only going to get 5,000 before you're getting uh, 100,000 if you abandon it. Uh, but we're not going to be abandoning anything. We're actually going to be completing these missions. And when you do, you're going to be getting in the neighborhood of 200,000 per mission completion. And this is another one of those in and out. Um, as long as you're in and out, uh, you're going to be safe as long as there's not bad guy bandits there. Um, generally, they're not. So don't worry about it. And if they are, you can just call a taxi and leave if you're too, if you're too worried about it, if you don't want to be a ninja. So grab the reactivation missions. But from now on, you are always, always 100% going to be searching for missions that give you materials. All right? <laughs> always. And the, the materials that you're going to need, the biggest one you're going to be able to get them in the missions is the carbon fiber. You're going to need at least five of those. So you complete two of these missions. Uh, to get at least five carbon fiber missions, we're going to want the reactivation though, all right? So you're going to need five pieces of carbon fiber. Uh, let me see if I can find the other one. The other item you can get as well is graphene. Um, a lot of that I get through being Space Robin Hood. And the thing that you can also farm for, <laughs> super easy, is just doing a reactivation mission and getting a power regulator. Um, every single time you take one of these missions, you get one in your inventory. So if you abandon it, the mission, and just take a tiny bit of a reputation loss, uh, you can get a power regulator for free. So the other stuff you can get through missions, but we'll cover that later. Um, right now we're going to do a reactivation mission. Now ultimately at this point, once you have enough money to buy guns, and let's just go over there and check that out right now. Um, you're going to need to complete at least two of those missions, and you'll have enough money to be able to buy the guns you need as well as all the consumables you're going to need. Um, and the majority of those consumables you can actually just pick up in the world, and the guys don't even care that you're looting the boxes. As long as it doesn't say illegal. All right. So let's look at the weapons. All right. Now, these are the weapons I like to use. I like to use this one right here, the TK Zenith. That's to take down their shields. Um, it only has 0.2 DPS less than the rifle. All right. So this is an awesome choice as the take the shields down. Um, and then you're going to want the Karma AR-50 as your main gun. All right. That's what I have loaded up in my, uh, my Maverick suit right now. All right. And then the next thing you're going to want to look at is your, your consumables. So get out of this menu right here and then go look at the consumables. I recommend if you're going to start doing combat missions, which I'll show in a later episode, you're going to want the shield projector, um, shield disruptor's cool, uh, frag grenades, you can loot by the boat tons in the worlds as well as med kits, but if you feel like buying some, go for it, but it's kind of a waste of money. Um, energy cells uh, just have a few extra of these. Now the biggest part about this stage of the game is just taking missions, like whatever missions you like, I recommend in the beginning that you do the transportation as well as those... Um, turn on the power missions, the reactivations that we're doing right now. Those are very, very safe, all right? You can get attacked by bandits doing the reactivation sometimes, but if you're in and you're out once you do it, and I'm gonna show you how to do it, um, you're gonna be pretty safe. So in order to load up your Maverick suit, make sure you go over to loadouts, all right? Since you're on the ship here, just go to manage loadouts. Make sure you select the right dude, all right? <laughs> once you have this selected here, your, your suit's on, so you're good to go. Here we go landing, this should be easy peasy. Sometimes the bad guys will be here first and you'll see their shields on, they'll be kind of highlighted as little blue guys running around. Those are not space cops, those are just like bandit bad guys. 
they will shoot you on sight, so you have to be a space ninja if they're here already. Now, I don't know if this is going to be fixed or not, but you can actually go log out to main menus and back, uh, reloading these instances here and just recompleting it over and over and over. <laughs> um, mostly it's about farming loot if you want to do it that way. Alright, so you're going to need to pull out your little tool here, and you're going to need to be in transfer mode. You're going to have to transfer some of your suit power over to this terminal. Because if you don't, you're not going to be able to know where you're going unless you know where it is. It's probably that building there anyway, but I wanted to show you that. Alright? Uh, generally for keyboard, it's just to push you to retract your hard points. The same exact thing. Alright, so now you can actually look up where the power place is. And it should be really easy to power center. And it was that building. It's generally that one that you come right you come right into it. I mean, it's just these are so easy to do. And all these these bigger buildings you can cut into with the tool. And I'll show you these other buildings here in a bit since there's no bad guys Warning. around. High temperature detected. All right, now you're going to come over here and pull out your cutter tool. Now, generally, one's going to be your primary. Two's your secondary. All right, right now I'm, I'm going to have to pull out my secondary first to take people's shields dumped, but... Uh, three is going to be power transfer. This you can clone people's identities with. I'll show you that when we start doing combat. Um, this right here is your cutter tool. Now you can't like draw out funny shapes and things. You, you only have a basic thing that you can cut out. Now I've noticed if you don't cut the corners too well that these plates don't fall out very, very good. So make sure you cut the corner. Uh, the more you use these tools, all right, and notice how it's not falling out. The more you use these tools, the more suit power you're going to use, all right? And you'll have to go over to one of those nodes I showed you earlier um, to recharge your power with. All right, now you got to switch back out to this right here. Now you're going to have to push R. That actually switches it into overload, and you just hold down your left mouse, and it'll open the door. So you just come over here, and then you're just going to transfer this into the slot and confirm it. Super easy. Just push E to, to highlight that. Now you come right over here to the terminal. You're going to interact with it. And right now it's starting to power up, so basically you're done here. Now you can start Space Robin Hood if you want. Just kind of look around. See if you can find anything. Uh, some missions will take you here to download data. That's, that's where some of that is. Alright, so your mission is now complete. Power is now going to start coming on. At this point, you can immediately leave. Um, in a little while, pirates will show up. Or you can start uh, coming in here and being Space Robin Hood. Alright, mostly what you're looking for is lockers. Alright. Now we have two of them in here. And notice since uh, this isn't a place that had power to begin with, you don't have to worry about being uh, picking up illegal items. These are all free to pick up. Now, you can't open this up unless you have the code, but you can just bust out with your cutting tool. And then just come over here and just cut along the lock. Now, what you have to do is just loot everything up. Bada boom, bada bing. And you just go around and do this to all the buildings. All right, you can just go right into all these buildings, and if some of them have a security access, well, you just cut the door open, doesn't matter. Now, these missions pay 200k, so that's not that's not too shabby, but always, always take the opportunity to be Space Robin Hood. Uh, you need to be trading a lot of stuff for other materials, uh, so you can upgrade your suit, so it doesn't hurt to come in here and just, you know, kind of help yourself. Uh, the max items you can pick up from one location or one reload is going to be 30. All right. But there are many opportunities to be super duper space Robin Hood. All right. I'm feeling good about this right now. So I can either summon my ship and get the heck on out of here. There's another building over there I could do too. But like I've been stacking on materials so... We could right now reload this save and go through and do the exact same process again. Um, just make sure you don't run out of suit power. Um, you, there will be a node around here somewhere where you can just plug in your recharger and recharge your suit power and just do this forever if you wanted to. Each one of these missions will pay at least 200,000, which is pretty good. 
Um, I recommend you do about five of these missions, being Robin Hood, looting as much as you possibly can. Uh, then we're going to move on to the next stage, which is actually looting from places that have guards. So that's the next thing I'm going to show you. Uh, that has the really good mats that are they're basically like engineering materials, I guess. Uh, so you can upgrade your suit and your guns. So I like to steal from those places a lot. Basically, this game right now, Space Legs, to me, is a stealing simulator in the future. Um, with space sitting in the background. So, kind of like it. Here we go. Just landed at the site, and I am going to complete a mission. I recommend whenever you're going to do Space Robin Hood, you might as well grab a mission. Because there's no reason to fly somewhere without making a little extra space bones. Alright, first thing off, you're not going to be, like, murdered by anybody as long as you don't have any bounties but if you get scanned by a guard just let them scan you until you steal stuff obviously because um, if you run away from them when they're scanning you you're gonna become a space bad guy and then they start killing you uh, it's like resisting arrest or scanning or whatever so just let the stuff scan you now I always love to come to these uh, zero security dorms the only people you're going to run into here are just like workers and admin staff and stuff like that. All right. Now you can steal one of these guys' identity if you want using the uh, this tool right here. Just don't let them see you do it. And for the most part, don't have your tools or weapons out when you're standing around these NPCs either. So mainly you just want to, for the beginning, you just want to kind of case the joint. You just want to look around for things you can rob. So what I like to do is I like to open up all of these lockers type, e type deals and just have it ready for when I am ready to rob the place, all right? Biggest thing is, is making sure that you're not going to get caught when you're doing this. So make sure you have a clean way to leave. See how it's clear right now? Dude's over there. Hopefully he doesn't start walking this way. Now there is a dude right there as well. So we need to be aware. That's the thing. So go and complete your mission and then get ready to rob them. Although right now I haven't done it yet. You know, since I'm here, I might as well complete my mission first after casing the joint. So grab that mission real quick. Alright, so they're both in there right now. That's the exit. Right now is probably a good time as long as they stay in there. Just make sure no one's in here. Always be aware. All right, now if I live or die, you're going to watch it happen, all right? That's why it's very important to have all the doors open. You want to get done with the robbing them blind as quickly as you possibly can so you can get out of here. Um, some of these materials are worth more than others, but uh, I just like to rob everything blind until I get to about 30 and then get the heck on out of here. All right, so that's it. Now we need to be aware of where those guys are. Do not stop and let that guy look at you. Right. So, shoot. Make sure nobody sees you. Ultimately, I like to just get around the outside of here and run around the outside of the building. And we might just try to be even more psycho just for entertainment purposes. Okay, that is a scanning drone, so be very careful that guy doesn't scan you. So, oh my god! Okay, I'm getting a little bit terrified. I should have already called my ship already. That's poor form. Um, I don't know if anyone's going to walk out and see me, so I'm kind of scared. Alright, let's kind of get away from where stuff is spawning. Let's get towards the middle. Um, you should have already summoned your spaceship. This is very bad. Okay, that is also a drone that scans for you. Um, hopefully I can pull this off before he looks this way. If not, I'm going to get busted. And then just immediately plot course back to where you got your mission. Um, that's why I generally like to hang around the outside. And as my shuttle comes in, I'll just run in and just get into my shuttle. It's a lot safer. Oh. It's a lot safer than having these drones fly around and one of them see you because then all the guards come and murk you. But I'm probably pretty much safe. This was a successful Robin Hood attempt right after completing my mission. And you can complete uh, the Robin Hood attempt 
and any one of these bases that have power to start out with. Uh, you don't even need to grab a mission if you don't want to, but like I said, you might as well uh, make a little bit of money. Just keep in mind, if you get caught, you lose your mission and all these rewards you just looted. So, yeah, make sure you don't die. Hopefully it's not going to squish me. And believe me, if you get scanned even just before you get on the ship here, um, the anti-aircraft guns will shoot your ship down and kill the taxi driver too. But, you know, collateral damage. You were a bad guy, so you might as well kill an innocent taxi pilot. Once you have successfully ripped off these outposts like a freaking space Robin Hood ninja, you just come over to the bartender and you can go and trade some of that stuff in for materials you actually need. And if you want to, you can even sell the stuff. I mean, I've got a few items on here. Some of the stuff doesn't go for a lot of money. That's why I don't bother selling it for money. I'll just trade it for other mats I need. But some of this other stuff you're going to be picking up doing missions is worth quite a lot. That health monitor, I need to upgrade my suit. But yeah, you can come over here and trade any of the mats you need for anything you kind of need in the game. And a lot of what you're going to need in the beginning is going to be graphene, like I said earlier. And you're going to need this carbon fiber plating here just so you can upgrade your suit. Now we're going to worry about suits and guns in our next episode. So yeah. Thank you for joining me on how to have the very best start in Elite Dangerous Odyssey. This is a part one of the series. I'm going to be trying to pump these videos out on the daily or at least every other day.